Hey y'all, this is Emily here with Jan's Garden at the North Texas Food Bank. This morning we're going to be talking about applying beneficial nematodes to your garden. Now there are bad nematodes, um, they, and all nematodes live in the soil, but this morning we're going to be adding those beneficial ones which you can buy at a lot of local, local nurseries. So whenever you get beneficial nematodes, they come in a packet like this. They look like powder. They're activated by being added to water, and that's really all you need to do. You can apply them with a watering can or you can use any kind of sprayer. I'm using a one gallon sprayer today. Beneficial nematodes are really great if you have, um, the ones that I'm applying today are really good for cutworms, maggots, grubs, which is what I have a problem with, cucumber beetles, and Japanese beetles. Once you buy your nematodes, you want to make sure you keep them in a cool, dark place so your refrigerator is the perfect place. They can last up to 30 days, um, but once they're activated in water, then you need to use them within about six hours. Beneficial nematodes work by identifying and targeting the pests that are in your garden beds. And then once they do that, they enter through natural openings. They excrete a bacteria inside their host before they start feeding and multiplying within that host. Now, as the number of hosts decrease, so will your nematodes. So if you know that you have a grub problem or any other kind of pest problem that beneficial nematodes can help with, it's good to apply it um, in the fall or in the spring as well. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is add my beneficial nematodes to my one gallon sprayer. I'm going to get my handy stir stick, which is just a bamboo stick. I'm going to mix it in just a little bit. Now my package says that the nematodes will be ready to be used and after sitting in the water for about 20 to 30 seconds. I'm going to let mine sit for just a few minutes and then we will spray them in our garden. So now our last step is to apply our beneficial nematodes to our garden beds. We have already irrigated the beds that we are going to apply the beneficial nematodes to. You want to make sure you irrigate before you apply them and after. That way it'll help the nematodes get into the soil um, and attack those insects that we don't want in our gardens. If you really have a serious grub problem or any other pest problem that a beneficial nematode can help with, feel free to reapply in the spring. Right now it's early to mid-October and we're applying these now and if I find that we have a really serious issue then we'll reapply in the spring. I hope you learned a new tip today that will help benefit your garden and thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Keep growing good times.